went to Ron Arad exhibition and there were just hundreds of chairs. On the surface you could think, well, this is just a chair exhibition, mm. but actually um, what he was using, he was just using the chairs as a, as a form really to explore materials. Yeah. So the vase is a pretty generic standard shape. It's been around for centuries, it's mm. pretty ubiquitous. And so I'm hoping that um, by making a vase where we have a conversation about the materials and the process mm -hmm. and not about what it does. This project's a partnership between the NCC, yep. Watershed, and the University of Bristol. It was funded by Bristol 800 a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. um, and I was the resident for this project. And I think collectively, we really wanted to do a bit of public engagement and be able to communicate the idea of craftsmanship and environmental sustainability yep. a bit better. Mm -hmm. And this is the, you know, this is the result. What we've done here basically starts a a different conversation to what you would usually have around composites, I guess. So a composite is essentially two parts and when put together, their material properties are better than their constituent parts. A composite can be anything from straw um, mixed with mud, like they used to do thousands and thousands of years ago, to really high-tech advanced composites that you see in aeroplanes, such as carbon fibre. But I think this is thinking about the sustainability and the end of life of the products that you're actually making. So in this particular vase, using the flax fibre, which is made from flax plants, yeah. and the resin is an eco-resin. It's actually a reversible resin. The idea is that you can recycle the vase, so you dip the vase in a um, hot bath of acid and then that extracts the um, resin and you get the dry fibre left at the end. If we can um, extract it on its own, then it will just naturally decompose and also the resin can be formed into something new. I think what we can see with this vase, you know, when you get close up, you can see that the, the, the detailing of it you know, the way mm. that you've laid the, the flax material in there is that this is absolutely a craft. It's quite a dark art to make composites well, like using um, infusion methods. It's initially made from dry fibre material, so flax dry fibre comes in its raw form. And we then cut that into shapes, so standard square shapes. And we lay, then lay that up into a mould of a tool, yeah. um, put the tool together and infuse it with some resin yeah. and then let that set and then out comes our vase. Materials are kind of a, a parallel strand to what we do in the studio. Our studio is generally about crafting compelling experiences, but there's no point in just creating really great user experiences if you haven't considered the rest of the, the, the system in which that solution, whatever it may be, exists. Yeah. I think this is the way design is going to have to go. We have a huge amount of responsibility as designers, mm. you know, especially product designers, yeah. that we, we consider at the end-to-end, -end, you know, circular economies, end of life, mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff. And that's why I wanted to do this project as well, mm -hmm. you know, so that we could start talking, having those conversations a bit more openly. Mm. You know, it's, this is a vase, but actually it's about what we've made it out of. <laughs>